है दिस इज फॉर द इंडिजिनियसली डिजाइंड किसान ड्रोन एंड दिस सर्टिफिकेशन इज प्रोवाइडेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द क्वालिटी चेक एंड इज इश्यूड आफ्टर रिगरस टेस्टिंग प्रोसेस माई कॉलिग स्टेसी परेर आर देन इन कॉन्वर्सेशन विद अग्नेश्वर जयप्रकाश हु इज द को फाउंडर एंड द सीईओ एट गरुडा एरोस्पेस लेट्स लिसन इन uh this is just validating our technical capabilities it cements our market dominance as well as it justifies our valuation as we are the most valuable drone startup as of right now in india uh this also sets the tone of why this is very important uh for making india drone startup because the type certification is a process which helps uh indigenous drone manufacturers uh abide by a lot of uh, rules regulations safety parameters uh when it comes to maintenance manufacturing the limits as well as the processes in which you manufacture products especially drones like how you get a handbook when you buy any consumer electronics you would also get a proper manual in terms of what you should and what you should not do and because we got the type certificate as well as the rpto uh, our drones are now eligible for up to 10 lakh rupees worth of uh, aif loans uh, which has only 5% interest rate and it also is eligible for 50 to 70 percentage of government subsidy uh, these are benefits that are um, uh, you know the and privileges that are open only to make in india type certified drones so we are very happy at the moment and this uh pretty much signals a dawn of a new era for make in india drone startups so you did mention the kind of benefits that come with this uh, uh, license as well as this approval so tell us how is this going to actually help the farmers i believe this is supposed to be uh, going to be used by them for you know you know mapping and other purposes so how exactly will this work and who exactly will you be training when it comes to uh, that uh, license that you've achieved will you be training the farmers who is really going to benefit from this You know the Garuda Kisan drone had its origins over three years ago when we started working with uh, KVKs, the Indian Council for Agricultural Research, the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. We've uh, worked with over three hundred and fifty ICA or senior scientists in terms of the various types of crop diseases that are uh, creating huge amount of crop loss in our country. And uh, what this Kisan drone does is uh, it reduces the amount of pesticides. and water by 70 percentage and also ensures that the yield that the farmers uh, are producing every single year is increased by 26 percentage it cut cost for the farmers and the people who are going to be utilizing this are um, ensuring that anywhere between 100 to 150 rupees per acre of saving has been recorded and this is not just me talking about it it's uh, proven government facts which is why the government has uh come out with a lot of schemes for the agricultural drone specifically for a wide adoption of this technology in rural india but apart from this it is also uh, spurring a huge youth revolution in our country where they're getting skilled there is reverse migration from the cities back to the villages and that is where our rpto training license also helps because we are now able to train these youngsters and rather than being a uber driver or a swiggy delivery boy they can go back to the villages and be a technocrat use this drone act as a service provider let me also agnish one let's get a broader picture here uh, to uh, when we look at uh, 2022 one could say it wasn't uh, you know too kind to startups as a whole we've seen valuations shrink we've also seen funding really you know not coming in was it the same case for you guys and uh, what's your outlook when it comes to 2023 is there good that uh, funding winter going to continue Well um, if there was a winter Garuda Aerospace definitely did not uh, feel cold by it at all because Garuda Aerospace uh, raised a lot of money this year we uh, um, uh, like you know our funding thesis has always been as a customer funded growth company and not as an investor funded growth company what i mean by that is we've always raised uh, uh, funding only as much as we have grown in terms of revenue in fact last year when we clocked uh, over 2.1 million dollars in revenue it was at a 24% net profit margin this year we are going to do 10x of that uh, we are likely to close at about 20 million dollars in terms of revenue with about 20 to 24% profit margins and i believe that when you run a fundamentally sound business where it is unit economic driven it is market agnostic asset light and recession proof i truly believe that investors are still coming after those companies which are fundamentally good run uh, with solid focus on ip and tech modes 
uh, which has been running and having multiple clients like what Garuda Aerospace has been serving over 350 over the last three years. And because since I, we are talking about valuations, uh, do you all have any plans on going public? We recently saw uh, a drone company also hit the primary market. So are those plans, are, are you all thinking of something like that? Absolutely. I mean, when it comes to uh, going public, it is every uh, startup founder's dream, uh, uh, like either at uh, uh, the Bombay Stock Exchange or at the New York Stock Exchange, you would want to be present and ensure that your team, as well as all the people who have backed you, your investors and your clients are uh, seeing that glorious moment. And I believe that uh, perhaps at the end of 2023 or post uh, uh, financial year end of 23-24, uh, we believe that uh, Garuda Aerospace would be uh, uh, primely uh, ready in order to go public because uh, till then we want to uh, secure about close to maybe 1,000 crores of revenue by 2024. Uh, that would be possible by selling over 20,000 drones, which we are on track to sell. Um, apart from that, we also have very good partnerships, which will enable a lot more revenues in the government sector and the defense sector. We recently unveiled our Vajra drone. Our forces are starting to look to make in India drones to secure borders. And I believe that the future is very bright for Indian drone startups in uh, Garuda Aerospace is spearheading those efforts. Agnish, well, before I let you go, let me also ask you, we have the budget that is soon approaching and we always uh, ask all people who join us on, you know, what their expectations are, especially from the startup ecosystem. How do you, what are you really expecting? And especially when there are schemes like the PLI and how those have benefited you all, what are your expectations from budget 2023? Well, budget B22 was phenomenal for the drone sector because yes, like you rightly said, the production link incentive scheme uh, worth 120 crores was rolled out. Uh, my expectations for the 23 budget is uh, pretty much a double or maybe even 2.5 times the amount of money that has been allocated for PLI uh, last year needs to be increased. And I also expect that there needs to be a service linked incentives that has to be brought in because uh, drones as an industry is not just uh, into production. Uh, we have at least 10 to 15 times uh, more number of service providers than there are manufacturers in this country. So what we would need is these service providers also to be incentivized by providing services with uh, legally type uh, certified drones like the ones that Garuda Aerospace has. Uh, we also feel that there should be um, immense rollout of a lot of these subsidies as well as the loans that are currently capped about uh, at 1000 crores as part of the 1 lakh crores uh, at AIF. If it can be scaled up to maybe 10,000 crores, I believe that there will be a lot more innovation and investors that will be coming in to the country looking at uh, startups like Garuda Aerospace and others uh, because we believe that drones shouldn't be considered only as a data capture tool. Drones are super computer on wings that can do a variety of things. And I believe that this is just the tip of the iceberg. There is a lot more that drones can offer in this country.